might be able to come back there. Anyway, I'm thinking last year the offensive line was a strength. I know you lose two starters, but uh, can you tell us how it's shaping up? Uh, over the course of the spring ball, you know, everything has worked out pretty much how we wanted it to be. Um, Lucas Patrick, you know, coming up, you know, being that sixth man last year is now, you know, incorporated well into the uh, offensive line. And now we have so many people now. Um, we have Tanner Stone, we have Cody Robinson, Casey Blazer, all those guys, you know, kind of like, you know, really wanting to, really want to go out there and show the coaches that they want some playing time. So we have a lot of guys. That, um, that can replace uh, Dave Hardy and Perry. You know, uh, right now we have Lucas Patrick at their left guard and Lieutenant Stone at uh, right tackle. And so far, like, of course, the spring ball has been going well. One of the things in line is cohesion is very important. Do you feel like this group can, can get that same cohesion? Like oh, oh, for sure. I mean, uh, we, s we still have you know most of the key starters, uh, me, Kobe and Matt Skura, uh, uh in the offensive line. But uh, these guys are gonna obviously gonna learn how we um, how we run our offense. They're gonna learn how to tempo. They're gonna learn all this stuff. And you know, it's not so much of a learning experience for Lucas because you know he was a six man last year and he had a lot of reps last year. He played in a lot of games, but uh, more of a learning process for Tanner Stone. You know, get to uh, play at the high level of football where the coaches are comfortable. You know, putting him out there to start games. In terms of talent, the group actually might be better. I mean, and the team as a whole. But you lost a lot of really good leaders last year as a team. Can you talk, talk about that? And who's stepping up to replace that leadership? I mean, uh, yes, we, we did lost a lot of good leaders. You know, Ross Cockrell, you know, all those other guys, uh, Kenny and Nikki, great leaders. But I believe that we have uh, a group of great leaders in our class as well, in our senior class. You know, coming up, uh, got, uh, obviously in the offensive line, you know, the younger guys look towards me as their leader. But then again, we have Anthony Boone, um, Bra uh, Braxton Beaver, uh, Jameson Crowder, Kelly Brown. All those guys are just natural leaders, and that comes with, you know, um, what they've done in the field, everything they've done in, you know, in the past four and a half years. The other thing is, a year ago, or last season, everybody told me that y'all built on the loss in, in Charlotte that that, that inspired everybody to work the butt off. And <laughs> You're talking about the belt bowl, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and you think the, the, the tough loss in, in Atlanta oh, has the oh, same yes. impact? Oh, yes, it's the same impact. You know, um, I would like to leave here winning a bowl game. And um, I'm sure most of the seniors feel the same way. And, um, you know, just getting to those points and just, you know, falling short leaves the penalties a bad taste in your mouth. And you want to get rid of that bad taste out of your mouth as soon as possible. So what we're going to do to do that is you go in there and work our work our rear ends off every day and, you know, make sure that next year is going to be a much better season than um, last last season. You know, and, you know, the only thing we can do to make that happen is to work hard every day and go in and live to get better. You guys were picked last going into last season.